Hey everyone, today we are going to be checking out a Hellcat that is still in partial development as it has a Hellion twin turbo kit and its factory supercharger. You're running the shot! So we're out here with Mike on this gorgeous Colorado day. Um, he came up from New Mexico with this Hellcat. It's a 2019, correct? Yes. Yep. And um, it's got a little bit more under hood, under the hood than meets the eye. So could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So yeah, it's a 2019 uh, Charger Hellcat and it has the stock supercharger. And then we also put a Hellion Power Systems twin turbo kit on it. Uh, it's running the twin 6262 turbos and uh, we've got a twin pump fuel system, uh, ID 1440 injectors, and E85 right now. So are those 6262s, do they typically just run precision for Hellion or? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Did you have to do anything to the transmission or? No, uh, we are completely stock unopened motor, stock trans, converter, rear end. Uh, we did put a drive shaft on it just, just in case um, and, a, and a differential brace, but that's it. We're stock axles, everything. What kind of horsepower is it putting out? On 19 pounds of boost right now, it made 953 wheel horsepower and 903 wheel torque uh, on kind of an early early tune. We're still running pretty low timing and whatnot. We're going to turn it up here in a couple weeks and see uh, what it'll actually make before we take the blower off and do a blow through setup. So what made you decide to go with a turbo setup versus say like a big Whipple or something? Well, one, everybody does the Whipples. Uh, they're either max effort port, ported stock blower, uh, Whipple 4.5 liter, the Kinney Bells. Um, I wanted something a little bit different. Uh, we live at high elevation like here in Denver, it's about five to 6,000 feet. And so the turbos are just better suited to deal with the elevation changes. Uh, and, and the efficiency helps a lot with that. So. Uh, I approached Hellion, asked them about a twin turbo kit. They had some things that they wanted to play with and, and try uh, to make the kit a little bit better for, for people buying it, uh, you know, for the production system and all that with that. So we uh, worked out a deal and, and here we are, kind of phase one right now is done and getting ready to actually see what it'll really do when we start leaning on it. What company did the tuning? Uh, Accelerated Performance, I think, out of California did it. Okay. So how do you like the compound feel overall? I think you've had supercharged cars, you've had turbocharged cars. How do you like this compound setup? Yeah, I've kind of collected the whole set over the years now. I've, <laughs> I've had Sentry cars, I've had Roots, Twin Screw, Single Turbo, uh, Twin Turbo, and now Compound. Uh, it's the strangest thing in the world to drive. It's got the low end grunt of the supercharger it's got a little bit of turbo lag although not much uh, you've got the the scream of the open waste gates and then the top end of the turbos are a century so it's about the most confusing car in the world to drive because you're kind of assaulted with all of the feelings and all of the sounds all at once but it makes it really fun she pulls pretty good and long term, are you intending on keeping a supercharger or are you going to go with a fun intake? So we're actually going to take the blower off after we kind of see where the restriction is. We don't know when the blower will become a restriction itself, but once we hit that, we're going to take the supercharger off and we have a custom uh, blow through upper with a Whipple lower kind of hybrid setup that we're going to put on it and then see what we can get out of the base kit on the stock motor and trans. Uh, see what it'll do in the half mile and and maybe some highway stuff in Mexico. Do you have an overall horsepower goal for this car? Uh, stock motor, we're not really sure. I know safely we can make about a thousand, but um, I think we may go for closer to 1200 and just see before we build the motor in it. And you haven't done any track work in it in its current form, have you? No, no, we haven't ran, ran at the track with it like it is. It's been it's only been together for about a week. We're still doing some data logs and some tuning and, and being very methodical and meticulous, bringing the timing and stuff in, making sure that you know we, we don't hurt anything and just get a lot of really good data for John and those guys at Hellion 
and uh, and for the tuner to make sure that as these become more popular, they've got a lot of really good raw data to go off of for for the masses. So coming from the Mustang world, how does it feel going to a full size four door car for your sports car of choice? Uh, it's it's really different, more in the kind of the comfort and the smoothness. There's not as much uh, there's not as much road noise and vibration and stuff like that. The tech in these cars is really, really good. That was one of the big things that attracted me to it for a daily driver kind of situation. And that's what I use this for. I drive it all over the place. Uh, yeah, we trailered it here from New Mexico, but we've been driving around for three days and beating the snot out of it. Uh, just really trying to kind of torture test this thing, see if there's any improvements or changes that need to be made. Um, there are several other cars with this kit and they're not getting driven very much. They're doing a lot of track work. So we're doing the street work on this thing. Um, the Mustangs are fun, they're, they're lighter, but I was really impressed with the fact that this car doesn't feel as big and heavy as it really is. So uh, it's kind of like driving a thousand horsepower lazy boy, but it's, it's, yeah, it that. makes it for a really, really fun, comfortable drive. I think, I think this is going to be great for 99% of people because you have that low end grunt that makes it nice and fun to drive around at 40 and 50 miles an hour. You have the top end power capability of 1,000 or 1,100 horsepower. And it's all with the push of a button through the boost controller. So I think that exactly how this car is set up right now is going to fit pretty much what anybody could ever want. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about the stock supercharger bearings or the rotors exploding if you pull it and spin it too hard. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the whipples being so big and putting the extra harmonics and stuff on the engine. So I really think that this is going to fit a lot of people's needs. That's why I, I uh, you know, kind of teamed up with John and 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 helped them, you know, put put a really really good idea on something and really try to kind of prove it and and see how it was going to work in the real world. And I think anybody that buys this is going to absolutely love it. Well, that's awesome to hear. All right, I think we'll wrap up the interview there and probably do some street stuff. So that sounds fun. <laughs> oh, look at this asshole driving out. Oh, really? It's that Mustang again. Holy fuck! <laughs> Capitized. Hit in the head and a big head start. The hit in the wiggle. So that wraps up the video. No real pun intended, but the wrap on this car was done by Tenton Wraps in Albuquerque, and the color is Satin Psychedelic. I really do like streetcar stuff. It's really fun. So if you'd like to see more of this type of content on my channel, let me know in the comments. With that being said, you guys have a great night.